Hey guys, this is Gaijin Hunter. Now while the game does have a wealth of knowledge in the notes section and I highly recommend that you go there and read up, I do find that the average person is having a hard time understanding the difference between the 7 types of prowlers that you can scout, so I decided to make this video. The bias of a cat cannot be changed later after you scout it, and it decides what special active and passive skills it can have, the max stats it has when it reaches level 50, and when and how the support gauge charges up outside regular attacks. Because in general, each cat has one type of action that will increase the support gauge more than normal, and this, along with the final max stats, is why fighting and assist are the best for prowler usage, and the others are more suited for palicos. Okay, first up is Fighter. This cat gains more support gauge increase while it performs melee attacks, and why I plan to include it in my tutorial eventually, a good mix of melee and boomerang usage is the most powerful way to use prowler in my opinion, so in this meaning the fighter is an incredible type. For support skills, it has Furious, which will throw your cat into a fury. It does cost 5 points though, so it's very hard to use. When a cat is raging, your cat gets a 30% affinity boost, their support gauge goes up faster than normal, they dash faster, get rock steady, and they have access to a special combo and finisher move. You also have a 50% chance of either getting a Pierce Boomerang or Demon Horn when you scout this cat. I highly recommend you go for Pierce Boomerangs. For the passive skill, you'll automatically get attack up S, which adds plus 5 attack, and also the sharpness plus skill out of the box. Sharpness works the same way as it does for hunters, so if you're using a blue weapon and you spend those points to make it white, you will see a great damage increase. The fighter has a base of 120 attack at level 50, meaning that it has natural attack up large. A total of 30 more attack points than, let's say, an assist cat, so very good, very powerful. Speaking of assist, it and fighter reign as the top prowlers that you can use. The assist cat gains extra gauge when using boomerangs, and its natural increase is higher than the fighter as well. For this reason, you'll both be able to activate your piercing and big boomerang, and have plenty of points to spare for traps or for the emergency retreat. For support, it comes with poison prison, which is pretty much a guaranteed poison to a monster if you can get a minute. And then you also get emergency retreat or cheer horn. Obviously, you definitely want to make sure you scout one with emergency retreat, as this skill is a killer skill. For passive, it has Monster Dar, um, which is actually pretty horrible. It only tells you the direction that a monster is facing and its mood, not whether or not it can be captured or not. If you're going into a capture quest or want to spam traps, Pro Trapper is definitely a great one to have. It lowers the cost of all traps by one point, and it makes it so you don't get interrupted when you're placing them. To make up for the support gauge increases and the traps, it has slightly negative attack power compared to, let's say, the fighter cat or another cat at 90. Uh, but honestly, it's not a problem. You can still kick unbelievable butt with this cat. Okay, now next up is Charisma. I don't particularly recommend this cat as it does not get a special bonus for any specific action. While it does get slightly above average increase for all actions, it simply does not add up in the long run, which is a shame because for support skills, it only has one set skill, which is Palico Rally, and overall it gets one more support skill slot than all the other cats. Palico Rally um, actually gives cats 10% attack up and 20% defense up for 3 minutes. It's pretty strong, so if you want to do a cheerleader type uh, cat as a Palico, this is definitely a good skill to have. For passive skills, you get Slacker Slap, which just keeps your Palicos from slacking, and Last Stand, which is a fantastic skill. You'll trade in the acorn system, and so you'll cart just like normal hunters, but in return you'll get a whopping plus 40 attack and plus 40 defense. You can teach this skill to another cat, so it's not exclusive to charisma. At level 50, this cat has no bonus or negative modifiers either way. It's just your good old average cat. Okay, next up is guarding, and this cat, I gotta admit, is really fun. It gets a special bonus when guarding attacks, and unlike other prowlers, if the attack that you guard has small or medium knockback, you won't take any damage. For support, you get Taunt, which makes it so that a monster will focus on you for a limited period of time, and I also think that you get Auto Guard and a small defense boost during when this skill is active. You'll have a 50% chance of either gaining Emergency Retreat, which I highly recommend over the Armor Horn, as it gives you a way to heal. For passive skills, you have Guard S and Guard Boost. The Guard Boost lets you guard attacks that you normally can't, so it's kind of like Guard Plus for Hunters. And if you guard an attack that has a status ailment, sort of like a Camellio's like poison thing, normally when you guard it, you'll bar the attack but still get inflicted, but if you have guard boost, you won't. 
At level 50, it does have 30% higher base, which is over 30 points of defense compared to any other Prowler, which is a lot bigger than you think it is. I'm also using this cat right now currently as a solar prowler and it also works really well as a palico as I find as a palico it almost never dies. Okay now we'll get into the more palico focused types but that isn't to say that you can't use these ones online and still do well for your team. The healing type only gets an increased bonus gauge if it's in the area that the monster's not in so it's really not good if you're a prowler. For support you'll be gaining true healing horn which heals a very good amount of health but costs 3 points to use and you also have a 50-50 chance of either getting the cheer horn or the armor horn. Both of them honestly are not that good so I really wouldn't worry about which one you get if you're scouting and healer type. For passives you get defense up small which is nice and health harmonics. The health harmonics will increase everyone's health to 150 which is maximum if you use either a heal horn or a true heal horn. But honestly late game most people eat or they have 150 health so maybe it's not so necessary. The healing cat does get slightly reduced attack and slightly higher defense at level 50. Um, and with support boost and by removing all the other skills you can really make sure that as a palico that this cat focuses on healing you. And that actually is really good especially if you're having trouble when you're hunting solo offline. I definitely think a healer cat could help out some newer players. Okay on to bomber type. The bomber type cat is really only going to help you if you're a bowgun user in my opinion. But they're really fun palicos to have especially if you have a pair of two of them. The gain gauge faster than normal by just being in the same area as the monster, so it'll just naturally go up. For support, it has Mega Barrel Bombay, but at 3 points you can see that as a Prowler you won't be able to spam this a lot. You also have a 50-50 chance of either gaining Demon Horn or Camouflage, the latter being better for Palicos. For passives, it has Heat Bomb Resistance bleh, and Bombay Boost, which will raise your bomb damage by about 10-15%, and I'm pretty sure it also raises your blast element on your weapon by 20%. More than the other cats though, the bomber gets 20% more damage when using bombs. So I think this just kind of says that if you want to use bombs, don't use another type of cat. The reason why I'm saying that bomber type is really for palicos and also for gunners is because their bombs will knock you around. So go ahead, put it on as a melee character and see what happens. <laughs> Finally, we have the collector cat. It gains extra gauge when gathering or carving a monster. For support, it also gets Plunderang, which is a boomerang that will steal an item from a monster if it hits. This sort of reminds me of Kayamba. You won't know what item you got until the end of the quest and it's evaluated, but I believe all the other hunters can pick it up as well. You'll also have a 50-50 chance to get either Pierce Boomerang or Camouflage. For your set paths of skills, you'll get Gathering Pro, and since you gain gauge while collecting, being able to farm a spot more than normal is really good. You also have the skill called Pilfer Boost, which lowers the cost of plundering by one, and if you're doing it as a palico, it'll make them sort of gather a little bit more often than the normal. Overall, at level 50, it does get slightly lower attack and defense, but it's not a huge deal. I could see how using two Colette Cats could result in some really nice plundered gems every now and then from some monsters. And there you go! So the seven types of cats are really important to understand. You can always change the type that you want to scout from any of the four different villages, and then all the other villages will immediately scout cats of that type. So after every hunt, come back, look at them, see if they're the ones that you want, and eventually I think you're going to find the cat that you like. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys try out some Prowlers and some Palicos. They're both really great. Until next time, happy hunting. Hey guys, this is Gaijin Hunter. While the game does have a wealth of knowledge in the he- Meh. <laughs> they gain gauge faster than normal- <laughs> Well thank you for- what? <laughs> oh my- <laughs> Recording's not easy. Huh?